Hey, it's Miss Davina and welcome back to the art room this afternoon. It is Thursday and we are going to draw some adorable frogs on lily pads. And there's a little cat tail over there. Are you ready to get started? All right, grab your paper, grab your pencil, and let's go. So what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen, is we're going to start with our frog's body. Okay, I'm going to start with a pencil today. We're going to start again kind of towards the either center of the page. We're going to start with our head shape, sort of a oval. Then we're going to come down a little bit and we're going to do a body. All right. Perfect day to draw frogs. It's pouring down outside where I am. So I think frogs would totally love this weather. Okay, right now it looks kind of like a turtle or something, but what we're going to do, come up. The frogs have great big eyes. So you're gonna do like this, okay? And we're gonna kind of swoop his neck down just a little bit, right there. See right what I just did? Okay, so what I just did, I did my head, did the body a little bit lower, and then I kind of made that line to make that little bridge from my head down to my body here, okay? You can always come back in, kind of curve that up a little bit. It's not going to be like perfectly straight going across there. Now what I'm going to do, frogs have that little bump there. So I'm going to come up above the eye and I'm going to make a little bump. And I'm going to bring my frog's head down right here like this. Think about like Kermit, Kermit the Frog or whatnot. All right, so we're working on his mouth. You can make him a little nostril if you would like. Maybe just that other little bump back behind for our other eye. I'll kind of color that in. It's a happy looking frog, right? Look at that little other part of my frog's like little, I guess frog jaw, I don't know. Okay, bring it down. Okay, so what I got going on there? So I got his little underneath, okay. You kind of bring that around. Well, mine kind of looks like he's smiling, right? Now what we're going to do is we're going to work on our front leg. To do the front leg, we're going to kind of come right about here and do two lines. Just don't want to make it look too skinny, okay? So what I just did, all right. And then I'm going to go, my front legs look slightly different than the back legs. So I'm going to take, it kind of looks like he's got muscles, right? He's like muscle frog. All right, so I just did, I just went one, two. It went one, two, one, two. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go one, two, three. I'm gonna make his little frog toes in just a minute, but I'm gonna make three little lines just like that. So I just did, okay? Made three little lines. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the toes. I'm gonna make a line beside those lines. Frogs have webbed feet. And they have little, a lot of them have like little circles or little balls on the ends of their toes. So now I have a frog foot like that. Okay, he's like, yeah. Make some spots as you go along if you want to. All right. Okay, sometimes I do things a little bit out of order. No, it's all right. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, I've got my little frog belly here. All right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down and I'm going to do my back leg. You can also make another little part of that hind leg back behind there because they have four. If you just want to show that little bit of that showing you can, you can come in and make that little bit of that. Now my back leg is going to look a little different. I'm going to come in. I'm not really sure if frogs have hips, but we'll call this his frog hip. So I'm going to come in and make that little curved line. Kind of looks like a letter C. We love the letter C and the letter Y when we're drawing with Miss Davida, don't we? And then kind of come down. Almost looks like a V on its side now. And then we're going to go back out again. Okay, so what I just did it. <laughs> All right. Bring it down. We're working on that back leg. And we're going to go again. We're going to go one, two, three, like we did up here. All right, you can spread the toes out as much as you want. 
Got that. Like that. And like that. So I got my little frog toes. What I'm gonna do a little differently now, a little back leg so he can hop, is gonna kinda come back in. If you notice, I really have that little bend in there. So it kinda comes back in again like this. Almost like a little boomerang or backward C. See what I got going on? All right, I know this is a little more difficult than a little more of a high skill level drawing, and that's okay. Have a little bit of that back leg showing. All right. I got a fat little frog going on here, don't I? If you want to make a little frog belly, make some spots on your frog. Your frog does not have to have spots if you don't want your frog to have spots. I feel like Miss Davina, my frog does not have spots. All right. So, a little spots going on. Okay. So, we're not going to see this other eye on the other side, except we're going to see that little bump of it. But that's all we're going to see of it, y'all. Okay. Now, if you want to do a lily pad, you can have them sitting on a rock. You can have them sitting buy some flowers or whatever. But if I want to make a lily pad, I made a little watercolor painting. Um, you can make, if you do a lily pad, it's relatively easy. All you do, it's like you're going to make a big old pancake. And you kind of come in and then you go back out again. So now we have a lily pad. It has that little, kind of looks like a little cookie, sort of pancake, cookie, whatever. And then it so has that little part usually they have a little split in them and we can make some little lines on there if you want to make you know like a lotus flower i believe it is called a little little time you can make yourself a little flower if that frog wants to get all fancy and have a flower on his lily pad all right <clears throat> so we have this like this little and remember, we're drawing kind of lightly, so we can always go back in. All right. Can you see that? What I just did? Okay. He's like a friendly looking frog. He looks like he's going to hop right off that lily pad. You can make him look like he's in that water floating around. You can make another part of a lily pad coming in. It's like maybe he went to Mr. Monet's pond in France to hang out in the pond or whatever. You can make... You want to. That is called a cattail. Um, they grow around swampy and pond areas a lot of times. You can make small plants coming into the background. Whatever you want to get going on there. Now we have it, friends. We have ourselves an adorable little frog. Y'all have a good one. See you tomorrow. Bye.